What is up guys, today we are gonna be working on the Bozo car again and we are gonna be starting off where we finished off. Uh, this flare is now super solid now that we have that second layer of fiberglass on the back side. It's a lot more solid than the rest of the flare but uh, obviously we are gonna have to smooth all of this out. But before we do that, I'd like to do that while the car is up in the air and the wheel is off. But before we can do that, or before I'd like to do that, I want to get the other side to the same point. So that means that we're gonna have to repeat the exact process of doing all the cardboard, all of the aluminum tape, and get this all fiberglass. It really shouldn't take all that long. We should be able to get that done by the end of today. And then by the end of today, we'll have both sides pretty much shaped out. The front end is gonna start coming together, and then we can start smoothing this stuff off. You guys gotta realize that at this point right here, we could move on and build other stuff. Here on is really just paint prep stuff. This is really at the shape that we need it to be to be able to move on, but we really just wanna get it as smooth as possible, just like the rears, and then we can move on. Uh, we are gonna be extending this down a little bit. I think I'm gonna bring it down at least to the bottom of here, all the way across, so extend it about two inches, make sure it's level. I think this is a little bit lower than here. Um, I'm not sure, but I think we're gonna extend this down a little bit at some point. We'll do that while it's up in the air. Um, just to bring it down to here and then from there we can go ahead and start smoothing all this stuff out but like I said I want to get the other side to the same point as this make sure it looks all good because this side does have a little bit of a kink in the flare right here so we're gonna have to figure out some support or something more than just this one down here uh, but we'll see I'm gonna move this car over so we have a little bit more workspace on this side and hopefully get this thing banged out so after removing this plastic, you can see that by keeping that wood piece in there, and especially since all this is basically being redone, uh, we were able to keep the same tolerances in here, and we should be able to have a uh, lock-to-lock -lock clearance, um, and everything is going really well so far. This flare is looking really good. It doesn't look awkward that I brought this out a couple inches. Um, if anything, I'm, I'm more pleased with this shape than the way it was from you know, how I got the flares originally. Uh, a lot of the Bozo flares do have a lot more of an overhang in the front. If you look at them, um, just like in the rears, they kind of just get big and then kind of cut towards the end. I think it looks very proportional. And then I'm sure once we take it outside and get a nice, you know, backed up side view, you'll be able to see that these look really good. So I'm gonna move this thing over and then we're gonna start working on that other side.
Now that we have a second layer drying on the bottom of these before we can cut them, uh, we're gonna have to let them dry. And then while they dry, I'm going to raise up this rear end and start to uh, weatherproof this rear end where all the spaces in between the uh, outer piece of metal and the inner piece of metal is for the fender uh, where we cut it. Uh, I'm going to first fill it with some expanding foam Wait for it to expand and whatever, trim it, and then put some Bondo glass. Now we're gonna wait for that to dry and this front part over here has cured. We're gonna trim it where I marked my line and that's just at the bottom of this here. And then we're going to measure it up and make sure that uh, this is the distance that we want from this fender. And then from there, we're gonna do that same kind of uh, triangular piece inside here just to give this a little bit more rigidity. And uh, from there, we can start trimming and doing Bondo and all that stuff because that is pretty much the last modification we need to do to these front fender flares. So I decided I'm actually not going to finish these off and put Bono glass on them quite yet because I wanna make sure that I'm able to take this thing out on their own and drive it. Um, before this thing is ever painted, I'm going to drive it around a little bit while it's in primer, make sure that everything is perfectly fine. We don't need to make any adjustments or anything, uh, obviously, before we make it uh, super nice. So the point is, is I don't want to finish this off nice before I get to drive around and make sure that this is enough clearance for uh, the suspension travel and then obviously up front too. Um, but we don't have to do this up front because it's not dual layered. Uh, so this will at least keep some of the debris out of here while we do the test driving. Um, but then obviously at some point we are going to fiberglass this or bondo glass it just to make sure that no water or debris can get inside there but this is good enough for now and at least good enough to be able to drive around temporarily so we're going to throw the rear fender flares back on and forget about that for now uh, as for the front these little corner pieces are still drying but once that's done we can pull that we can trim it and we can start sanding all this excess down and then from there start laying a bunch of bondo glass So the fiberglass work on these front fenders is for the most part finished. There is a little bit more that we have to do. Eventually, we're gonna have to create this little lip back here. We're gonna have to modify this, trim it, everything. Um, but for right now, now that this is set in here and everything's kind of exactly where it needs to be, the next step is to go ahead and start making it smooth and look like an actual fender flare. The passenger side is looking a little bit better. Uh, just because we didn't have to modify the positioning of this. Uh, we actually modified uh, this one basically to look like the other one just because the front fitment of where this was in orientation to the tire uh, was a little bit different. So we had to use the jack to push it and kind of push it up and back and around and everything. So that's why this didn't turn out quite as good and this is just not quite as smooth is because there is a lot going on and I wanted to make sure that uh, we basically just got the fiberglass on there and had it hold where we want this outer lip to be, uh, you know, and then later on we'll smooth it out. So this does do a little bit of an indentation here, so we're gonna have to try and bring that out or fill that in or something. And then again, we're gonna have to do the trimming here and kind of create this lip, try and make this look like it, you know, belong there. Other than those couple of things, we are pretty much done with fiberglass work on the fender flares and we are going to move on to smoothing them out tomorrow. But this is where I'm going to end it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed and peace out. <music>